Hi guys, welcome back to Origami Twist. My name's Jen and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fold an origami giraffe. Now this is in honor of April the Giraffe from Animal Adventure Park and I'll put the name of that um, park in the description below because they are currently live streaming her labor and delivery of her baby giraffe calf. And they have been doing so for the last couple of days. So um, the world is patiently awaiting the baby's arrival. And in the meantime, I'm going to fold some origami. So there we go. Now I have used the traditional origami horse to create this model today. As far as I know, this modification is my own. I'm not copying anybody else. I'm simply... I've simply taken the traditional model and narrowed the neck a little bit and narrowed the tail to create a giraffe. And the other thing you need to know about this model before we get started is that you will need a pair of scissors for this one. So what you need is one square sheet of paper. Now I've chosen orange today for obvious reasons. Orange seems to be a pretty classic cartoon giraffe color. You could put spots on this if you want to, to create a giraffe pattern before you start folding. And if you do, you'll want those sp spots to be face up for this first fold. So we're going to take one corner, bring it to the opposite corner and crease. And once again, if you've done spots, that's facing up. And you're going to open it up and turn it so that one corner goes to the opposite corner and brings that crease one to the other, like so. And then open it up. So now you have an X folded into your paper. Now you're going to turn your paper over spot side down and one edge is going to come up to the opposite edge and crease. I like to call that the book fold. It's not technically called that, but it looks like you're folding a book. And then you're going to open it up and bring the other side to the other side so that this crease comes over to itself and crease. And when you open it up, you'll now have a plus sign as well as that original X folded into your paper. So you're going to bring the two opposite corners into the center and then the flat sides of these opposite sides are going to come together to collapse the model. So you're going to put your hand under and push down and the whole model will collapse into a smaller square. Now if you've done the paper crane before, you realize that we're, what we're creating right now is called the bird base, and which is a fairly common base in origami. So if you master this, you'll be really good at a lot of different traditional models. And uh, we're just going to keep going and to complete the bird base. So one edge into the center. And you'll notice on your paper that the center has already been creased there, so you'll know where to line it up with. Line it up really well, making sure that point is nice and sharp, and crease. And then the other side. So that the top section looks a little bit like a kite. And you'll notice that the bottom section did not get folded into that. You just want that top layer folded up. We're now going to turn it over, and using that under section that we just folded as a guide, we're going to do the same thing again. So one edge on the bottom, and again that's that open side is what you're folding up. The closed end is facing away from you. And bring that in, and crease. On the other side, same thing, bring it in and crease. And you'll notice you've got a kite on the top, and if you turn it over, a kite on the bottom. Now open up those two flaps, lift up that tab here, and you're going to want to focus on the point where this crease happened before, so right where that's folded. And you're going to look at that on both sides and use that as your guide point when sliding your fingers up the top flap and then creating a crease inside. Now that's tricky, I totally get it. Uh, playing the video a couple times helps, and quite often, um, if you can't get it, a friend will be able to get it. So always, there's never a problem with phoning a friend on this one. So you'll notice that this new crease intersects the two 
points where these creases here meet. So now you've got a triangle essentially folded into that center. And make a good crease there and then lay this whole section down so that it's nice and flat. And same thing on the other side. And you want to pull it out so that you've got nice sharp corners there. And you want these corners here to be as close to perfectly symmetrically folded as possible. I understand that sometimes you can't, depends on if the paper was originally square, but you want to try to get as close as possible. And you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So opening those flaps, slide your thumbs under, come up to meet those two points where the creases were, and create a crease. Opening that up, and collapsing the two triangles. I also have this um, bird base taught in the paper crane video that I created. I'll put a link to that in the description box below. And I describe it slightly differently because it was a couple years ago. So if you can't figure this out, try checking that out as well. There, are, I have a couple of different ways of explaining it. And now if you've had a struggle with this, you're not gonna like me with this next part, but it is very important. We're going to insert our fingers into this next flap and then open it up and bring it back to that square. And this is very important because all of these creases that were created before are now ready for the next step. And you'll find in origami that that's very important. Where the creases are put are usually there on purpose. So turn the model over and open up that flap again and collapse it back into a square but once again with all of those lines folded into your paper. Okay, in case you can't see that those creases there, I've actually drawn them in in Sharpie because this next point is super important. We're going to be cutting into the paper at this stage and what we're going to be doing is following this line from the open end right up to where the two creases, the two creases that I've drawn here in Sharpie where they intersect. Now on your paper, you don't need to draw them in Sharpie because you'll see them, but just in case you can't see them in the video, I've put the line here. So I'm going to be cutting just the top layer of paper right up to that intersection. And I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. So following that crease just like we did on the other side, just in the top piece of paper, don't cut into anything underneath, right up to where that, those two creases intersect. Okay, now we're going to take that point where we've cut up to, so it's very important that you've cut accurately there, and I'll actually show you on the other side because that's the same point where those two points intersect, and the top corner on the outside here. And we're actually going to create a crease that connects the two. So where my left finger is and where my right finger is, we're going to make a crease in between the two lines. So we're going to do that by folding up and making sure that those two points are where the paper creases. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And if you're familiar with the origami horse, this is where we are going off the, uh, off the pattern. And this is, again, my modification to create a giraffe. If you want me to do a uh, lesson on how to do an origami horse, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to create that as a um, project. So we're going to fold a tiny bit of the top over so that it creates a little triangle on the back. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to take this entire top flap, so not the bottom one, just the top one, fold it over, and fold the paper along this crease that's been created previously. And in case you can't see the crease, I'll draw it in. So we're going to fold along that crease. And it's essentially folding that entire section in half. 
Now to make the giraffe leg a little bit skinnier, I am folding up a little bit. Now I'm being very careful to pivot at that, at that point here, at the bottom. And then I'm shaping the leg to whatever shape I want at the bottom. So essentially that's going to be your giraffe leg when you're finished. And you can do as thick or as thin a leg as you want. And you could even modify this to create other animals if you, would, if you want as well. When you've finished folding that, you're going to turn the paper back to that middle section. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Fold that top flap over, except mirror image. Turn the flap over and folding that section in. And then again, this is my modification. I'm just going to fold in a little bit more, making sure I pivot at this corner down at the bottom to create a skinnier leg and also a skinnier top section so that we have a nice long giraffe neck. And then fold it back over. So it's like, it's like the giraffe standing on its head at this stage. Those are the legs. And turn your paper over and it's going to be the exact same thing again. So that point where the two uh, creases intersect and the corner of your work are going to be the two pivot points for that crease. And same thing on the other side, here and here. And crease. Then fold your little triangles over the back and have them be roughly the same size as the other legs, otherwise you'll have a top-heavy giraffe. To fold that flap over and again creasing along that crease, folding along that crease, and then fold in a little bit more, this time lining up the leg with the leg that you created earlier. And I don't mean lining up on top of it, I mean lining it up so that you know that these two legs are the same length. Because when you come back over here, this is, when you fold this section over, that's actually what you want to line up one on top of the other. There you go. And now we're going to do the same thing. This whole top section is going to fold over. You're gonna fold that section in. And then once again, bringing this in, just double checking to make sure that little triangle was folded in enough and creating a little leg that's about the same width and length as the other one. And when you fold it back over, the leg should match the leg underneath. And we're nearly finished. You're going to turn your giraffe over so it looks a little bit like the Eiffel Tower, except it has a big split up the middle. And we're going to start on the right hand side to make the tail. We'll do that by folding along this crease just here. And you just fold the whole section straight down so that it's nice and creased right along that line. What that will help you do is to create the, your inside reverse fold. And all that means is that this fold here is going to go inside out and tuck down to make a tail. And all you have to do to do that is open up the two legs like this, fold that whole section down, and because you made that pre-crease, it actually kind of wants to go that way. You fold it down along that, along that long crease neatly, and then close the two hind legs together to create the back of your giraffe. And you can pick up the tail a little bit if you want to drop it down, it's totally up to you. And then on the other side, you'll notice we've got a nice long neck and we're just going to do an inside reverse fold here as well. And essentially you decide how big you want the head to be and I'm going to go relatively small because I wanna keep a nice long neck. So I'm gonna fold down to make it look like a neck and you can either leave it there or you can fold it up and then do the same thing you did on the other side, only smaller, open it up, fold it down, keeping track of those creases you made and then pinch the back of the head to make a little head. So again, it doesn't matter how you do it, it's totally up to you. You can get all complicated or do it super simple as well. There are several different ways to make a head in origami, so you do what you like. And there you go. We've created one April the Giraffe, 
and her baby giraffe. And good luck, April, if uh, you guys are from the uh, Animal Adventure Park are seeing this. I hope that the birth goes really well and good luck to all of you making your giraffes. Once again, if you want to see a, an origami horse, let me know. I'm happy to make that. That's a traditional model and I have um, modified that model to create this one today. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you guys have a really great day. We'll see you again soon for another video from Origami Twist. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.